Are the Atlanta Falcons done? Of course not. Now, there's a lot of people getting rid of the Atlanta Falcons, throwing in a towel after their first game of the season. Now, for those who didn't watch, the Atlanta Falcons lost to the Pittsburgh Steelers in a game where many people, many Atlanta Falcons fans, says that they clearly should have won that game and they had the better team. Now, if you believe that, if you don't, I will say this. I was one of those people who think the Atlanta Falcons should have won. And I think watching that game, they truly should have won. I think you get rid of those three turnovers, that game was, was in the Atlanta Falcons' favor. And that's the most frustrating part about this loss. Now, I will say this as well. Even though Atlanta Falcons lost, there are some potential good spots and good showings that we're seeing within this game. Now, I want to take two steps back and say this. I was bullish in Atlanta Falcons thinking they would start off 3-0 and in the season, or 2-1 and in the season, open it up full speed. It was me talking as an Atlanta Falcons fan. But in all reality, we have to be honest. Kirk Cousins hadn't played in eight months. Zach Robinson is a new coordinator, first-time coordinator. Jimmy Lake is a first-time defensive coordinator. Raheem Morris is not. It's his, he's coming back, and he's a first-time head coach as in as of recent. There were going to be some growing pains. There were going to be some rust that needed to be knocked off, and there was going to be a growth period for this team. Now, I was very bullish in the fact that I didn't care. I thought we would come out and beat the Pittsburgh Steelers, which we kind of should have. But I need to take a step back and understand, which is something that a lot of Falcon fans won't or don't want to take a step back and understand. There will be some development this year in this season. This team, I think, is built for the long haul. But right now, we need to and we wanted to win, and that just didn't happen. Now, I will say this as well. Falcons fans, don't get discouraged if we start the season 0-3 now. There are some good teams that we play coming up. And I think there are some opposing teams who specialize and do things that we don't do well as of right now. But I will say this. The positive light of the Steelers game is our defense is really good. I, and it's to the fact that I think we took a step up from last year. And I know Pittsburgh is not, you know, the barometer for how good of a defensive team we are. But we were able to shut down the run. And to be completely honest, we truly only gave up three, two to three field goals on defense. Now, people say you gave up five, but two of those, they were in a plus position, plus starting position, and they really only gained 10 yards on a possession, and they kicked a deep 57 to 56 year, a yard field goal. So those two, I don't, I don't really count. But really, truly, this defense only gave up nine points, and I think that is a positive light for the Atlanta Falcons. Now, some negative lights. Obviously, Kirk Cousins throwing two interceptions. He kind of looks spooked out there. People are saying he may not be healthy because he spent a lot of time in the pistol set. I know Raheem Morris came out and said, hey, he's healthy, not sure. And they kind of wanted to kind of put, put it on the game plan. But there's no way Kirk Cousins was healthy. I know he's in the pistol set, but he really wasn't moving that much. So I kind of wanted to debunk that Raheem Morris. That's probably something their PR team told him to say so he can take the pressure off of Kirk. We'd rather put it on offensive coordinator Zach Robinson and go from there. I also think there's a lot of knock on Zach Robinson and how terrible of a game he called. Do I think this was the best game he called in his life? No. Is he prime Chip Kelly in regards to play? His prime Kyle Shanahan? No, but I think he called a game plan decent enough to win. We got to think about it. Other than those three turnovers, the Falcons were moving the ball in the first and second quarter, and it was looking like it was going to be a 14-3, 14-0 game. And I just think those costly turnovers really, truly impacted the game going forward. Even in the last possession, the Atlanta Falcons had a chance to win. They could just not finish it. Now, I will say this about Zach Robinson, too. 
He's going to have to grow. He's going to have to get better. And I think he will develop and become a good coordinator down the road. He just needs to get reps, to be completely honest. I will also say this. People talk about how good Arthur Smith played and how he outcoached the Atlanta Falcons. I don't think so. Arthur Smith really didn't call a great game. He just played us. He called a safe game. And for in, in this that chance in that game, the safe game won. And for a guy who scored 15 points, five field goals, half of those field goals, he was at the 35 in it going in, going out. I mean, that's not really a good offensive game from Arthur Smith. He just didn't turn the ball over. And that is what was important for this game going forward. I also will say this, Pittsburgh Steelers defense is really good. And I think that there are a lot, not only the Atlanta Falcons, but there's going to be a lot of teams who struggle to play and beat that defense. Now, it comes to how good their offense is going to be and the way Justin Fields played, he will not turn, he's not turning the ball over and they will probably win a lot of close games strictly on their defense. Now, back to the Falcons. Am I excited? Yes. I think this will be really, really a better season than people think because of this terrible start. I will say we might go 0-3 the next three games. But going forward, I think our defense has shown it can be that defense we can rely on. Kirk Cousins, I would say, probably played his worst game. It can only be up from here. And as we start to gel and as we start to mesh, and as Zach Robinson gets more comfortable, as Kirk Cousins gets more comfortable, and as the team gets more comfortable, I think we'll be better because our schedule is back loaded, well, front loaded, and it's back end easy. And I think there will be a point in time where we kind of rifle off five and six unexpected wins just because this team starts to mesh and gel at the right time. Now, if you agree or disagree with me, please do me a favor. Leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, also please do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. We are on the journey to 5,000 subscribers, and we got to get there. And like always, wait, if you want to see more videos like this, check this one out right here. And like always, peace.